who's ever thought about the physics involved when trying to throw an opponent to the ground? Well, that's exactly what this teacher is trying to show these Dunedin children. Karate's full of physics. Um, we can talk about things like momentum, we can talk about conservation of momentum, conservation of energy, different types of energy. There's momentum, there's linear momentum versus rotational momentum. There's all kinds of different kinds of acceleration. Um, there's torque, there's forces. It's full of physics. Her workshop is part of the International Science Festival, with the children participating in three sessions to learn the art. It's hands-on, and Hall says the best way to teach theory is to have students doing something active. And it allows those with no interest in science to learn subversively. There was a survey done recently with New Zealand teenagers where they said that 96% of kids had positive feelings about sport. Pretty sure you couldn't get 96% of kids having positive feelings about physics. So if we can squish some physics into the sport that they already like, then that's the job done really. Children learn basic kicking and punching techniques, but they also learn to fall. And understanding the forces behind a fall can help prevent injury. Let's face it, no one wants to fall. But we all do fall. And if we do fall, we want to make sure that we're smart and we know enough about physics that we can minimise the impact of our bodies on our bodies so that we don't hurt ourselves. The classes also give family members a chance to outshine their siblings. I'm a fan in the last couple of workshops that I've had for the Science Festival. There's been lots of brother-sister teams, so they really like working with each other, taking each other down and you know, getting the gloves on and punching each other and stuff like that. It's like a healthy way for the sibling rivalry to get out. And Hall hopes some of the lessons have paid off and ignited these children's interest in both karate and physics. John McKenzie, 39 Deneen News.